Well, here at Fox 26, we continue to shine a light on the thousands of people who have vanished from the greater Houston area. And in tonight's edition of The Missing, our Gabby Hart is bringing us the story of a father who says his son left home one night and never came back. He also claims his friends are not cooperating in the aftermath of his disappearance. 22 year old Andre Moten Jr. vanished three years ago. The day after he went missing, his friends showed up to his home panicked and asking his father to search the woods with them. But they never answered the question of how they knew he was missing before his own family or why their first inclination was to search a wooded area. And then they came running over here talking about reporting him missing. It was like. Something ain't right. Andre Moten Sr. hasn't seen his youngest son, Andre Moten Jr., since October 19th of 2019. Andre Jr. left his father's home around 2 a.m. that morning, allegedly after taking a phone call from a friend. They claimed that he was with a female, but they didn't see the female. Later on that same day, before his family knew anything was out of the ordinary, two of Andre Jr.'s childhood friends came to his home on Timber Forest Drive in Atascacita in a panic. I mean, it was a lot of strange things going on in between that time as far as a person searching for him in woods and stuff like that, which was strange. Who was searching for him? One of his friends. Okay. Went searching for him, digging through his car, all kind of stuff. It was really weird. I mean, he even wanted the surveillance from the, uh, the apartment, the lease office up front. And I was like, why is he going through all that? When he was saying that he know where they dump bodies at and type of stuff like all type That's of stuff like saying. that. Yeah. Do you think he knew something that you didn't? I know he did. Nearly four years have passed, and Andre Jr. hasn't been seen or heard from. He would be 26 years old today. His father says Precinct 4 deputies investigated and conducted lie detector tests on his friends. But his family still hasn't gotten any answers or even a clue as to what could have happened to him. We have no leads, we have no leads. Okay, why not? If you're a friend, and I actually told one of them that they came here, if you're a friend and y'all been knowing each other for this long, if y'all know anything, say something. Because if you're innocent, you ain't gonna get in trouble. And what did they say? It was quiet, it was quietness. Andre Jr. is one of six siblings and a college student who loves playing basketball. His father describes him as a good brother who has never been in any kind of trouble with the law. That's him and his sister. Andre's disappearance has been agonizing for his family. Some of them have come to terms with the possibility that he may no longer be alive. But for this father, it's a fate that he refuses to accept. What has this past three years been like for your family? I mean... It's been tough. Well, what my wife, what she say? She say, she know he's gone. I haven't processed it. I think my wife has somewhat more than me. Do you think your son's still alive? Put it like this. When the doorknob turned, I expect to see him. Yet another family desperately searching and waiting for closure. And someone out there knows something. If that someone is you, do the right thing. Call the police. Call the Texas Center for the Missing. You can even remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers. And remember, even the smallest tip could be enough to bring this family the closure they so desperately seek. I'm Gabby Hart. Fox 26 News. Well, as Gabby mentioned, Fox 26 has partnered with the Texas Center for the Missing for our ongoing series, The Missing. You can find a full list of our coverage on our website, fox26houston.com. Just search for The Missing.